Oh hey, so I'm here today with Tommy from Tommy Edison XP. He's gonna describe a sound to me, and I'm gonna try to guess what that is. What did we do on your channel? Right, on my channel, what I had you do is describe a color to me. Because I've talked about color a lot in the past couple of years, and I'm trying to understand it as a blind person. This, you know, I, I, this doesn't really mean much to me, you know? So what you did was you described colors without saying facts about the colors. For example, you didn't say like the grass is green. Right, because right? that's something that I would just know. So I'm going to try and describe sound to you without telling you, you know, what it is or facts about that sound. I'm going to just give you my opinions on what the sound is and what it makes, how it makes me feel, and we'll see if you can't guess what I'm talking about. We'll put 45 seconds on the clock and I'll start to describe it for you. Okay. Okay, this sound is majestic. It's a big, giant sound. Okay. okay? It's in wonderful natural stereo. In fact, you can only hear this sound in specific places. It's a very relaxing sound, although it can be a very scary sound as well, depending. What else can I tell you about it? It is quite soothing. In fact, some, some people fall asleep to it. <laughs> I think I think I got it. I, well, I, I might. I don't know. I might be in the realm. We'll see. All right. Um, I think our time is up. So you want to have a guess? What am I talking about? I want to say a gong. A gong. No, I was uh, talking about the ocean. Oh, yeah. Right? Because the ocean is really majestic. It's big, giant, wide stereo. As you hear the waves break to your left and to your right. True. Right? People do fall asleep to that sound. Uh, and it's, it's a, and again, it's in wonderful natural stereo. Oh, see, natural. I should have retained the word natural. Yeah. I was thinking like zen, like relaxing, like yep. a big sound that could be scary. But that, yep. I mean, Right, the ocean is a sound depending on the weather. Right. It can be quite scary or it can be quite relaxing. Right, one down, me zero. All right, again with 45 seconds and we'll start the clock and I will talk and at the end of the time you will guess, okay? This is a, just a beautiful sound. It's a joyous sound. It really is. It's a lovely, lovely sound. Again, wonderful natural stereo. I do like the natural stereo. Okay. I'm a big fan of that. Now, this sound can be a little bit scary but it's a very lovely noise. It's a very lovely sound, it really is. And the interesting thing about it, it sounds different in different parts of the world. So, you know, it, it might sound different here than in, you know, some other countries or some other cities even. You know, it's associated, sometimes it's associated with mourning. Okay. What do you think I'm talking about, Nick? Um, so I think mourning may have skewed what I was thinking. I want to say rooster, but I also think that they probably sound very similar everywhere around the world. You know what? I'm gonna give you a half a point. Okay. I'm gonna give you half a point because the rooster was a bird and I was oh. talking about the bird, right? So I went too specific. You went too specific, okay. that's right. If you'd been a little bit more vague with it, you would've gotten it right on a button, okay. right? Because the birds, if you go, for example, I was in Australia and I heard birds I've never heard before. And again, it's big, giant, natural stereo, right? Right. Because it comes from all around you and it's far away from you and that's a morning sound to be sure in the springtime. I should have said spring or summertime as well, but. Okay, I'll take the half a point. <laughs> all right, good, you get a half a point. All right, let's see if I can describe one more for okay. you. Okay. All right, this is gonna be tricky. I, I'm trying to think about how I can describe this for you, but I will do my best. All right, this is not a natural sound. It's more of a mechanical sound, um, but it's a big sound. It can be a big sound. Uh, it can actually, <laughs> it can be a big giant sound. It can be a loud sound. It can also be quiet, sometimes, it's even silent. You hear this sound all over the world. You heard this sound today. I guarantee you heard this sound today. Okay. No question in my mind you heard this sound today. I don't know if it causes much emotion. Ooh, this is difficult for me to describe, and I'm done, I'm out of time. <laughs> With my crummy clues, what in the world do you think I'm talking about, Nick? From um, Soundly Awake, by the way. Goodness. Okay, I know, I, I need to live by my name here. Oh, this is hard. I mean, okay, so I'm guessing, I wanna guess that it's something to do with people. Um, but I can't pin Zero it. Zero in for me a little bit. Maybe a phone. Different types of ringers or vibrations with phones. So you're gonna say that the uh, the cell phone, the, uh, the telephone. I'm gonna say that. The mobile telephone. Yeah. Nick, I was talking about a car. Oh. I was talking about a car or a motor vehicle. Because well. some of them are big giant sounds, like a big truck, you know, those, you know, it's blah, 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 like that. Sometimes it's, you know, a little quiet sound, like, you know, more of a modern car, like a Nissan or something, or a Hyundai or something like this. Or sometimes it's very silent, like a Prius. See, and I was thinking, like, you could have, like, a super loud, obnoxious ringer. That's or right. Or it could be unsilent, and you just have that little vibration in your pocket. <laughs> that thing. <sighs> okay, yep. so I got a half a point. 
It's yeah. okay. Well, listen. <laughs> How was that? Was that fun, though? I mean, yeah, it was super fun. Thank you so much. Listen, and thank you for doing it over on my channel. And, you know, if you'd like to see what, we, what Nick got up to over on my channel, please check yes. it out at Tommy Edison XP. Yeah, the link is in the description box, so click it and make sure you go over there and subscribe while you're over there. What's your Twitter? Oh, my Twitter is uh, at Blind Film Critic. And mine is at Soundly Awake. And I'll see you in a couple days with a new video. Peace. Thank you so Dude, much. Dude, <laughs> that was all right, man. That was good. That was a little, you know, that was a little freaky. Seriously, no Pokemon in this apartment. None. Not one. I guess I'll go for a walk. Michelle Obama must be so happy right now. It's a Pikachu. What, does that mean it's three steps away? Do you want to go to the beach? Oh my god, yeah, I need a 10. That's great, I need a Gyarados.